Hi yogis, it's Lexi. Thank you for joining in. Um, I'm inspired today by what a friend texted me this morning and it was that this is getting real, right? We're still in self-quarantine um, and I'm reminded of words of Brene Brown, which are, um, assume everybody's doing the best they can, right? And if you assume people are doing the best they can, that means you create some space for them, maybe not to be living up to your metaphysical ideal, maybe not do it the way that you would do it, but maybe doing the best they can. And if we can extend that grace to others, maybe they'll extend it to us as well when we have moments of um, perhaps in artfulness, right? I don't know if you resemble that remark, but, but I, I certainly do. So today's class, we're gonna get into some tender spots. We're gonna have some fun and be gentle with ourselves and enjoy some grace. Let's have it. We're gonna meet on our mats. First thing I want you to do is just take a table, look at your hands, starfish, and find the core. You'll take your right hand and just flip it so that the receptive part of your palm is facing upward and give yourself a big breath in and a big breath out. Now you're working the pinky down, you're working the thumb down. If this feels okay, you can take some circles both ways. Good. Flip the right palm, let's do it on the left. Flip the palm. Taking some circles. All right, both palms down. You can turn your palm around. Just take a moment, lie back. Other palm around, just a millisecond. We'll be here in a few. And then come to a child's pose. If you have a block handy, you'll take that block and press it into the soft part of your belly. Right? Give yourself a little bit of a Uddiyana Kriya, a little cleanse. And then try to soften around that hard edge of the block into a child's pose, into a balasana. About three breaths here, inhaling, exhaling. Maybe you can stumble your thighs a little closer around the block. You'll turn your palms back of the palms, framing your feet in embryo pose, on a forest pose. Bring your forehead down. We'll take cat cows here, but we're thinking about the back part of our body, like wings. It's gonna inhale, lift us up. This is your cow. Exhale, soften around. Four more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, soften around. Doesn't have to be big to tease out awareness of the back body muscle. In fact, it can be pretty small. We're just cultivating awareness for subtle mobility. Go ahead and ride your breath back up to a tabletop. Set the block to the side. I'm going to turn to face you so you can see this. This is. Um, from Nikki, a Kula teacher taught me this, and she's amazing. Okay, we're gonna lower to our right forearm, bring the palm down, and then move back even more, flip it, right? You will bring your left forearm, and it's going to act like a rolling pin. Start with it as far up into your elbow crease as you can. You are in control of the amount of weight. You can glide forward, glide back, whatever works. But just begin to give your forearm a massage. We'll be here about five breaths and incrementally, like you're squeezing a tube of toothpaste, you'll begin to take that forearm down the meat of your forearm, just using your left forearm to massage your right forearm. Sometimes noticing how your fingers might have a biomechanical response as you knead out any tension that you didn't even know you were carrying. Come back into a tabletop and just feel the energetic difference in your forearms. Inhale, take a cow. Exhale, round dome, the back body. Inhale, take a cow. Exhale, bend the elbows, lowering chest and chin, ashtang pranam. Inhale, press right back up to cow. Exhale, neutralize seat to heel, child's pose. 
Inhale, ride your breath right back up to table. And then let's do the other side, lowering that left forearm down. Turning so the soft part of the palm is facing up. Right forearm acts as that rolling pin, breathing. Five breaths. If you practice ujjayi, pranayama, breath with sound, it's a fiery breath, it's a heating breath, you can recruit it now. Inhales and exhales out of the nose. Gentle constriction to the back of the throat, so the breath has a sound, an oceanic quality. Got three more breaths. Notice how this might feel different on this side. Notice how your hand might respond. Maybe one hand is more worked than the other. I know mine are. Find yourself back in a tabletop. Inhale, take that sacred cow. Exhale, lower chest and chin. Inhale, push right back up to a sacred cow. Neutralize the low back through a child, act a child, really round. Inhale, find a lengthened spine. Exhale, tuck toes, hips high, heels heavy down. We're breathing, dog. Inhale forward to plank pose, high yogi push up. On exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, bring the back of your hands to frame your pecs. Inhale, just take a little baby cobra. Exhale, lower it down. Widen the hands a bit if you want. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower it down. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower it down. Roll out the wrist if that was a lot. Bring the palms to frame the pecs. Tuck the toes, bump the heel, child pose. Inhale, ride your breath up to table. And on the exhale, pull the core in. Find that hasta bond, a strong, firm placement of your hands. Right leg's going to inhale long behind you. On the exhale, hinge the right leg off the left seam of the mat. So your thighs are crisscrossed. You're now going to squeeze the thighs together, tap the right knee down, and glide your bum back to a crisscross child's pose. So now the stacking of the knees is approximately where that block was. Just let your head go. Breathing for three. Two. And one. Ride your breath back into the crisscross table. Now, take your right shin. You're going to do the same thing, roller pin of your right calf. So you'll hinge that right shin onto the top portion of your left calf. And then you can sit back if you want more sensation, but just kind of almost saw the right shin back and forth, just releasing any tension in your calf you didn't even know was hiding, lurking in there. Breathing. For three. And if there's a spot that feels good, you know you can stay there. You just knead it out with love, with gentleness. And one. Good job. Inhale, we'll back to a three-point dog. Exhale, right knee down, bum the heel, chest pose. Inhale, come on back to table. Exhale, find that solid supported table. Inhale, left leg goes long this time. Hinge the left leg off the right side of the mat. You can take a couple rocks here if that feels interesting. Firm the thighs together and then tap the knees down. You'll glide your bum back, just getting the stretch, breathing. Inhale, lift back up to that crisscross table. Use your left shin now to massage out the right calf. Right, get it first as close to the knee crease as you can, and then begin to gently take it back. If you want to feel more weight, you just shift the bum back. You make that uh, left shin heavier. Oh, feels so good. Breathing here. Surprisingly tender for me. Yoga is the practice of self-care. Sometimes that means a fiery flow, which we're going to get to. And sometimes it means just pausing, taking it softer, taking it gentler. You know that. Beautiful. 
Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, seat to heel, child's pose. Inhale, right your breath to table. This time, tuck the toes, step the feet a little bit ahead. Hips high, heels heavy, downward breathing dog. On your inhale, right your breath forward to plank pose. On the exhale, you can tap your knees down, take a chaturanga, half push up or glide forward, bend only halfway. Roll over the toes, take your active up dog, back bend, exhale, Adho Mukha, hips high, heels heavy. Lift up to the balls of your feet, on exhale, tap your heels to the right, so you're crisscrossing your legs, my right big toe is tickling my left heel. I'm pausing here, I'm enjoying, on exhale, bending my knees and getting a tremendous stretch for three. For two. And one. On the inhale, I'm gliding forward to a side plank. My feet stay crisscross. My left arm reaches towards the sky. Squeezing my thighs, finding the plumb line for two. And one. Then my left arm's going to reach over my ear. Tremendous side stretch, lifting my hips up. And on exhale, I find a plank pose. This time we're doing something different. You can stay here or take that right hand, flip the palm, move it back about one additional foot uh, handprint. And then on your exhale, stay here or shift forward and take a whiff of a push-up. Two. And three. Tap the knees down, bum the heel, child pose. Walk your hands back, tent your fingers, lift your hips, just take a nice little quad stretch, hip flexion stretch. Bum down, walk yourself back forward. Inhale, table, exhale, downward, breathing dog. Lift to the balls of the feet, send the heels towards the left, toes point towards the right. And then on the exhale, bend the knees, inviting in that dynamic stretch. Just notice where you feel it for three. And one, inhale, we glide forward to a side plank variation. My legs are crisscrossed, my toes are still touching my heel, look up. Then the right arm swim strokes, I lift my hips up, I luxuriate in sensation. Bathe my body in breath. And then I find my plank pose. Now the left hand did all that lifting, so I'm going to flip the wrist halfway back. Stay here, or glide forward, three, two, and one. Knees down, bum down, child's pose. Inhale, drag the fingertips back, lift the hips up to that funky little back bend. Bum down, ride my breath forward to child's. Lift it up through a table, same breath, downward dog. Let's flow that one time. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, knock the heels to the right, toes point to the left, bend the knees. Inhale, ride your breath to that side plank. Exhale, left arm swim strokes down, you find a plank pose. Switch the right wrist, take an inhale. Exhale, play at that push up if you're interested. Exhale, knees down, bum the heel. Inhale, roll back, take your back leg. Bum down, glide it forward, exhale, child. Inhale, passing through table, exhale, downward, breathing dog. Inhale, look to the toes, exhale, turn the heels to the left, toes to the right, bend the knees. Inhale, glide forward to that side plank. Exhale, swim, stroke the arm, find your traditional plank. And then turn that left hand back, take an inhale, exhale, play with the push up. Tap the knees down on the exhale, you find your child. Inhale, drag it back into that back leg. Bum down, drag it forward, you're in child. Inhale, pass through table. Tuck toes, hips high, downward breathing dog. Huge breath in, yogis. Huge breath out. Walk your hands back to your feet now, Uttanasana, the back of your mat. You can stay here or flip your palms. Soft side of the palms facing up. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bow and fold. Breathing in. Breathing out. Huge breath in. Huge breath out. Bend the knees. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Rolling out to your wrist. Maybe taking some organic 
movements. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, hands to prayer. Set an intention right now to send the energy of your practice to someone who needs it. It could be you. It could be someone you know who's having a hard time. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, bow and fold. We'll take a sun breath. Inhale, lift halfway, lock in the spine. Exhale, bow and fold. Reverse swan, reach it up, look up, lengthen, find your core. Close that circuit, hands to heart center. Let's walk it back. Inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, jungle cat, tiger king, crawl all the way up to downward dog. Exhale, let your heels melt, maybe lift up your piggies off the mat, your toes. Inhale, right leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, right knee to nose, round the spine. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot between your hands. Left hand down inside the right foot. Inhale, peel the right arm to the sky. It's a dragonfly twist. We're holding for three. Find your breath for two. Activate that back block leg. Four, one. You've been here before. You can take a crisscross side plank or stack the feet now if you're ready. Holding for three. Holding for two. Holding for one. Right arm swing strokes over. You find yourself in plank. This time shift forward. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Urdha Mukha. Exhale. Adho Mukha. Second side right away. Left leg high. Knee to nose. Left leg to the sky. Step it between the hands. Long, low, luscious lunge. Right hand down. Peel the left arm to the sky. Breathing. Dragonfly twist. Your back body's working. Your fingertips are active. Your glutes engaged to steer that pelvis to neutral for two. And one. Pin to the pinky toe edge of the foot. You can tighten up the feet or stack the feet. Your pleasure. Go for three. For two. Now, some people, their feet are all the way down. They find that's more supportive. I find it works for me better with active feet. Left arm over the head. Find that plank pose. Vinyasa. Breathing in downward dog. Huge breath in. Huge breath out. Huge breath in. Huge breath out. Rebound up the earth to send the bum higher. Maybe even a bend to the knees to get even more length out of the side body. On the inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Look between your thumbs. Exhale, step there or on empty. Lightly float. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bow and fold. Press into the earth to lift up a little bit. Inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, hands to prayer. Sama Titihi, Suri Namaskara A. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Step to plank and lower or jump back, pimp elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Breathing, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, prepare balls of the feet. Exhale, step on empty float. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, hinder. Reverse swan, reach. Find it in the heart center, Samas Titihi. Let's do it again. Lift and lengthen. Bow and fold. Lift halfway, prepare. Yogi on the move. Micro pause in the back bend. Feel the back body pressing the heart forward. Deliver the hips high. Downward dog. Let that on. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Long, low lunge. Tap the left knee down. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, take your full breathing for three. Now I'm tightening my fingers, finding that energy, pulling my heart forward for two. And I'm keeping my back toes tucked and my front toes active just for fun. And one. On the inhale, find that low lunge again. 
On the exhale, walk the hands forward. Maybe your block is there, maybe it isn't. You're gonna flick off the back toes and find a warrior three. It could be supported with hands down. You could float your hands up. I'm gonna bring my palms facing the sky, wrapping my pinkies away to activate my back body for three. Core is working for two. Hint of an up dog for me. And one, bring that left thigh into your body. And then cross the left ankle over your right thigh, figure four tree. Bend the right knee, figure four chair. Arm options, prayer the hands. Or maybe bend the left elbow, take half bomukasana arms, or thread the right arm, internally rotated behind your back for full bomukasana arms. We're sitting wherever you are for three, for two, remembering to be gentle, and one. Go ahead and release that stand like your mountain, maybe shake it out. Let's do a sun to get to down dog. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, prepare. Yogis get to down dog. You can always skip the vinyasa if you have enough heat. That's totally acceptable. You can add to the vinyasa extra push-ups, handstand hops, whatever you want to do to match your energy level. From down dog, second side, left leg goes high. Knee to nose. Left leg to sky. Step the left foot between the hands. You're in this long lunge. You tap the right knee down. We straighten the left leg. We square the hips, find the core. And we take our stretch breathing. Part of this practice is finding, right, those good stretch sensations. And then noticing how the rest of our body responds. Do we clench our jaw? Do we furrow our brow? Do we hold our breath? Because none of those reactions are gonna help you surf sensation and be gentle with yourself, right? That's what we're here for. Okay, on the inhale, re-bend that knee, you re-find that long low lunge, and then we lengthen the legs forward, flick off the back toes. Stay with the fingers down. Maybe lift one hand, maybe lift both hands. Whatever works for you, Find your warrior three. Permission to wobble. Breathing for three. For two. Here we go. And one. It's not how many times we fall, it's how many times we rise back up. Cross the right ankle over the left side. I'll face you. Figure four. This is awesome. Or now what I like to do is take my hand and roll my arm in. And do the same thing with my other arm so I can get the bind. Sitting lower. And if you don't quite have the bind but you're working towards it, that can be even better. For three. Two. And one. Release it. Shake it out. Find your mountain pose. Prayer to hands. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. So this is a part of class, right, where you've done some hard work, but it mirrors life. Because when you do hard work off your mat, nobody says take a vacation. They say here's some more hard work to do. So we're gonna be gentle with ourselves as we do even more hard work. Bend the knees, who can toss in the chair pose. Holding for five. Sitting lower for four. Shifting the bum back in space so you can see your toes for three. Reaching the arms forward, wrapping the triceps in for two. Huge breath in, exhale, bow and fold. Ha. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Yogi's on the move, get to down dog. From down dog, right away, right foot steps between the hands, left heel spins down and in, warriors rise. By your exhale, you're already out of there. Hands frame the front foot. Totally fine if you take a three-point vinyasa. Totally fine if you skip it. Second side on your breath. Mighty inhalation lifts you. Mighty exhalation releases you. Inhale, find the back leg. Find the wings of your scapula, pressing your heart 
prayer forward. Downward breathing dog. Huge breath in. Huge breath out. Inhale the right leg high. Bend the right knee. Open your hip. Twirl that femur around. Take another inhale. Exhale, right foot to the step between the hands. Cartwheel open to a warrior two. Virabhadrasana, number two, or letter B. Glide the shoulders back over the hips. Sit a little lower. Breathing here for three. For two. And one. Flip the right palm. Reversal of warrior. Your left hand is going to cap the right elbow. You're going to tease yourself a little deeper. Holding for three. Two. And one. Left hand's going to release. For some of us, take a half bind. And then we'll float the right arms. For others of us, right forearm down, left arm over the ear. Whatever works is fine by me. Three. Two. That's one. Two hands inside the right foot. You're in a lizard lunge. Just give yourself a little swerve. Hard work. Two. And one. Look forward, hard forward. Left foot steps outside the left hand. You're in a malasana, but not for long. You're going to plant your hands, lift your high knee high. Hook your shins on the back of your arms. Look forward and take it to flight. But kasana for five. That's four. Three. Two. If you want to jump back, do it now. Otherwise, step, step. You're right back and down dog. Inhale, left leg goes high, roll out your hip. Step the left foot between the hands. Ninja warrior open. Warrior two. Right hand reaches back, shoulders over hips, front thighs are really rotated, breathing for three. Two. And one. Flip the left palm, reversal of warrior. You can stay here or Cap that left elbow with the right hand. Actively getting a stretch of your tricep. Don't lose a bend in the left knee. Breathing for three. Two. And one. You know the drill. Right hand can release. Take that half bind. And then you can accelerate the left hand or take it with the forearm. Whatever works for you. Let's breathe together though for three. Two. Huge breath in. Good work. Take it down to Lizzie. Get your swerve on. Three. Okay, step it back. Downward dog this time. Your choice if you want to go through a vinyasa or take rest. It's up to you. From downward dog, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. This time, inhale, straighten the right leg. Keep that left knee lifted. Now we're coming into pyramid pose. You can take it longer. A block will help. Or hop that back foot in. Come to a, you know, like a, that left foot. If you're on the face of a clock, it's about a 10.30, maybe. 10.45, reach up if you want to take secret prayer. Hands behind the back, nobody's stopping you. Lengthen and fold, breathing. Three. Inhale, that's two. Big breath in, final exhale in this shape. On the inhale, bend that front knee. Maybe keep your hands in the secret prayer or whatever arm situation you have. We're holding warrior three for three. Lift your back into the prayer if it's there. For two. And one. Flamingo pose. Release the arms. Take it into Garuda. Left leg threads over right. 
You can double bind if that's available. Left arm threads under right. Grab your shoulders back of the hands, double bind if it's available. And then you sit low, holding for three. For two. One more inhale and exhale. Let's sleep our eagles. For three. Two. And one. Lift the chest up as much as you need to take it back to an eagle armed warrior three. And then tap the left knee down, eagle armed high lunge. Take an extra inhale here. On exhale, slowly lower the left knee. On inhale, straighten the right leg. On exhale, pull the belly button back. Take an eagle runner stretch. Breathing for three. Let the core catch the balance for you, too. And one, release the hands, find that little lunge. Step it back, your choice, vinyasa or downward dog. Second side, left leg hug. Knee to nose. Left leg to the sky. Step the foot between the hands. Straighten the left leg, pyramid pose, cars go to nasana. Stay long if that feels good. Hop the foot in if you're more of a traditionalist. Both are great. If you want to take secret prayer, hands behind the back, prayer the hands, snuggle them between your scapula. Hold the belly button in, take your bow. Three. Two. And one. Bend that front knee, lifting into a warrior three with a secret prayer. Three. Two. And one, right knee into the chest, flamingo or one-legged mountain, release the arms. Find your Garuda second side. Right arm on your left. Find that rope coil. Three. Two. One more big breath in on this exhale. Sleep your eagle. Move slow. Three, two, and one. Lift up, unthread that top leg, pass through an eagle arm for your three. Not easy. Before you tap it to an eagle high lunge, take an extra inhale here, and on exhale, slowly descend the right knee. Inhale, lengthen, straighten the left leg, find your bonders, exhale. Hold. Breathing. Three. Two. And one. Release your hands. Step it back to downward dog. Inhale, plank if you want it. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urva. Exhale, agha. Downward. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Exhale, step on empty float. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bow and pull. Bend the knees, swing the arms high, and Uttasana. Stand like the mountain, Samus Titihi. Take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Okay, if you have a block, we're gonna use the block for this next flow. I'm gonna face you, because I think it's easier to see what I'm doing but I might move. Okay, you're gonna put the block outside your left foot, okay? And then, you're gonna come into eagle with the right leg on top. But the right foot is actually gonna step on the block, giving you a little stool. So you're sitting in the eagle with the right foot on a block. Pull the core in, right arm under left. Inhale, find the back bend. Exhale, flow. Inhale, as you lift up, transfer weight into the right foot on the block. And by the exhale, you're coming into a warrior three on the block. Not easy. Holding for three. Holding for two. Huge breath in. 
On the exhale, release your hands. Bend the right knee so the hands touch down. Flex the left foot and roll the hip open. So this is referencing the class that I posted, um, I think it was Friday or Saturday. Getting that glute, the right glute engaged to push your hips forward. Breathing for three. For two. One more huge breath in. Walk your hips back to neutral. Bend the right knee. Tap the left foot as far back as you can. And then you'll simply step the right foot off the block. And then bring your left hand onto the block. Try to straighten the right leg and take it into a very expansive, dynamic revolve triangle. Breathing here for three, for two, and one. Okay, we're gonna come back, put the block to the side. Now watch what I'm gonna do. That right foot's gonna slide down my mat in front of my left foot. So I've got crisscross ankles. I glide forward to a crisscross plank. Hold for three breaths, or take three push-ups. And then we all lower to our bellies, keeping our legs crisscrossed. On the inhale, lift up to a Shalambasana. Any arm variation that works, your ankles stay crisscrossed. Three. Two. One more huge breath in. Let it go. Keep your ankles crisscrossed. You're going to bend your knees. Walk yourself back. So that the right knee's in front of the left. Options. If you want to take more of a chill, relaxed Komukasana, you'll bring your block sit on it or nestle your bum between your heels. Widen your feet out, maybe take an eagle wrap and fold. Totally cool. If you want to open the shoulders, maybe you'll take your Komukasana arms. If you're working for the Iyengar pose, the Iyengar Komukasana, you'll glide forward. You'll bring your legs as close together as you can, like you're on that tightrope. And then you'll sit back, access balance, access core, and find full Komukasana cow face pose. Breathing here for five. Four, let it be hard. Let it challenge your senses. Be gentle with yourself. And when it's done, we'll let it be done. Good work. Come on back out of that. You'll press back to a crisscross leg, downward dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Step the right foot between your hands. Step the left foot to meet it forward. Fold. Roll yourself on up to the second side. Block outside the right foot. Left leg over, eagle with the foot on the block. Left leg's on top, left arm underneath. Flow this first part we've been here before, but rely on the block, right? Sometimes we need some support, okay? Let this practice be your support. Take an undulation, lift it up, transfer the weight, use core muscles, exhale, you're in your warrior three. Breathing. You're not afraid of challenge. If you fall out, you come right back. Three. Two. Huge breath in. And then we let it go. It feels so good. Hands come down. Bend the leg. Don't bend the knee. Try to keep it straight, I guess. Walk the arms off and just roll your hips open, breathing. Referencing that work we did in the crisscross for the tightrope feet in our side plank. Feel those same muscles here in a different way. Two. And one. Walk the hands back. Bend the left knee. Tap the right toes down. Okay? Step that foot inside the block. Right hand on the block. Straighten the front leg. Take this dynamic, expansive revolve triangle. Turn this way so you can see. It's 
wider, it's bigger, it's, it's a little bit, I don't want to use the word sloppy, but I just want it to feel expansive. So pull the belly button in, knit the shoulder blades together, and just feel alive for three. Two. And one. Two hands down, block steps to the side. Left foot's gonna thread in front of the right. Find your plank pose, stay here. Or three push-ups. Lower all the way down. Shadow crisscross ankle, tapping into the strength of the back body for three. Two. And one. Lower down. Walk yourself back. You're either finding Gomukhasana, nestling the bum down, motorcycle handlebar of the legs. Maybe it's an eagle wrap and bow. Or maybe the Gomu arms. Or maybe you're working the Iyengar version, bringing the legs as close together. This is the hard part. Legs want to swing out, testing the balance, maybe readjusting once you get up, and then contemplating the arms. Five. Four. Everybody's doing the best they can, including you. Be gentle with yourself and hope for grace that others will be gentle with you. Release it. Walk yourself back to that crisscross down dog. Take a moment. Breathe. Okay, my friends, you'll just tap your legs down, uncross the crisscross. Take a moment in child, big breath in. Big breath out. Okay, I'm using a block today because I'm being gentle with myself. You're gonna put the block somewhere to support your legs. You're gonna take your hands, turn them around, okay? So now what I want you to do is try to think about your elbows. Just like that block and child digging into your belly, right? This is peacock, Mayurasana. And then once you get that, you're gonna bring your hands down. You're gonna find this up dog, right? You're gonna lay your forehead down, lengthen the legs back so they rest on a block. Let my block track a little bit more. And then I lift my back body, and then maybe one day, my leg lifts off the block. Five. Four. Three. Two. And choice one. <laughs> Child says. Now some tricks to that pose include having your legs in Baddha Konasana. Savora and Padmasana Lotus. Active legs can make this pose feel a lot easier. And if you have longer legs to your torso like I do, it's really hard to find that cantilever, that balance. So you can always package your legs. Beautiful work, yogis. Go ahead and take a recline onto your back. Starfish your fingers. Starfish your limbs. Take a big breath in. And find your way into Shavasana as you go there. I want to rem remind you of the lore of the peacock, right? The peacock ingests poison. And through ingesting that poison, he becomes more beautiful. That's how she finds all her beautiful plumes, right? So the legend goes. So there's an allegory there, right? If we're around people in close quarters and maybe they're having an artful moment, maybe just allow it. Maybe to hold some space, recognizing they're doing the best they can. And by gosh, you are too. The light in me reflects and respects the beautiful light that is you. Namaste.
See you tomorrow.